Hello everyone, this is Ron Chen, aka Inset Dude, Inset Dude speaking. Welcome back to Inset Dude's Domain's Facebook live stream, and let's just jump into it. Now, um, now I hope you enjoy my video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is Facebook Live. I hope, yeah, I hope you, you enjoy my, um, my YouTube video. Uh, for those of you that you're on Facebook, you didn't, you didn't see my video yet. So, so this is why I'm going to commentate, um, this video on, um, Mega Man at the Tokyo Olympics, because I already explained about the storyline, and, and today I'm using my mobile phone instead of using my laptop, because every time I live stream on a laptop, uh, sometimes it, it always cuts off on me. Now, I'll explain about the storyline. As I said before, um, in the Mega Man universe, um, the 2020 um, Tokyo Olympics is actually going to be in the year 2020 and not 2021. However, um, during the Olympics or after the Olympics, the, the virus already exists. So that's the kind of story I want to make. So, um, so so far about five or six levels um, completed so far, and today I'm gonna show you the video of the level, and I'm gonna commentate on it. All right, so I'm holding my phone right now. All right, yeah, this is not my laptop, so um. Yeah, uh, it's 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 a broken one anyway, cause it cause. Let's go to my files. Go let's go to YouTube videos. Yeah, this is this is my video file. Um, to so this is a uh, Shadow Man's level. So I'm gonna commentate on it. Yeah, hope you can hope you can see it though. Hope you can see it. Quality is not that good there. Oh, that's that's good. We're heading over to Kansai, which is based in um, Osaka for this stage. And no, this is not in-game custom music. This is Awkward Lake from um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 from Sega Master System or Game Gear. Now you notice that um, that this stage look, looks uh, similar to Needleman, and that's because it is Needle, Needleman's graphics. Um, but the inside of the radio tower graphics is not. It, 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 this is not original graphics. Um, th these graphics are taken from um, Terminator 2 Judgment Day for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, I have attempted to um, turn it, turn the Cyberdyne Systems level into um, into 8-bit. So um, basically, I wanted the um, the Kansai level to be based on Pokemon Space World and. And of course, the Golden Rod City in um, the current Gen Two, uh, it has a radio tower. So I want to make a, a, a radio tower stage. So um, so based on that level, you see like moving mechanical robots and, and electric gates and all that crap. So let's continue on. Now the spike over there, um, that's for a reason because um, you are required to use the rush coil and there's a, a, a weapon, um, the weapon energy. So the spikes is here for a reason in case the player acts like an idiot um, using all the rush coils. And um, and if you're out of rush coils, then technically you are you are soft. Actually, you are not soft locked because there are enemies on a, on a ground level. So um. So 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 basically, if you want to inst instant kill yourself, then go ahead. But the, the spikes is also here for a, a reason, for not because of the soft lock, but a different reason. Now, 
Now you see how uh, I, I um, yeah, yeah, you see how the, the screen scrolls up. Well, technically, um, technically, this day is supposed to have um, eight ways scrolling, like um, Piri Sabi's Rockman Four Minus Infinity, or Wakuja Killer's um, Mega Man Three um, Odyssey, or Mega Man Odyssey. Yeah, that's a proper title. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, this game doesn't need that, so. So no NES Mega Man game needed eight way scrolling. So when you making levels, you just need to use your imagination. So so yeah, this is the part where you where you need um an eight way scrolling into a ROM hack, but this one is not necessary because I don't because I don't want all that fancy coding into the game. Cause I don't I don't know how the eight way scrolling look works when you make levels, and I don't want to know, and I never will. So I want it. My ROM hack to be as is, and trying to to be, create more original and design levels. Yeah, let's see it again about how it scrolls up. Cause um, you gotta design you gotta design it with precise, especially um the bottom the bo um the bottom one which you don't don't see while you're editing levels using um a level editor like Mega F L E X. Yeah, it scrolls up perfectly, the way it's designed. Yeah, about that question, you'd be wondering why not, um, why not set the scroll to be the doors open? Actually, no, um, that, that's a fake door, and um, it, and it's meant to be half open. Yeah, it's part of my level designing chore, right? Yeah, I don't know what happened, but uh, um, it, it's probably the, the 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 screen transition. It happens in in every single Nintendo game. So when the sprite um, it, it's kind of like a, a sprite overflow when it goes in the bottom of the screen, and then you end up um, hidden on top of the screen. Yeah, sometimes um, it um, it happens. You know, I thought Kuja Killer um fixed fixed the problem. I'm not yeah, I'm not even sure, but I, but I think it's just random. You know. So let's just continue on, and, and basically, um, it's um, it's normal because um, if you play the original um, Mega Man Three about um, Snake about Snake Man stage, um, you see how um, you're supposed to tr transition the screen all the way before going up or down. That's that's how Snake Man level is. So so it is meant to be like that. But technically, you are supposed to go down to the bottom. So um, remember, Kuja Killer had a, a, a multi-path system into this one, so it has a multi-path system. And the multi-path system with Mega Man 3 is so awkward the way Kuja Killer coded it. But but yeah, he did he did commented it about it. So I really don't care about that. As long as long as you design levels with, with your imagination. Yeah, especially when I try to design levels with um, Akihabara and um and and Chubu region, which is top man. Let me grab that one up. Yep, see, it does scroll down. Scroll down to the bottom floor. Yeah, you're supposed to transition screen like like all the way before going down. Yeah, yeah, that that happens in the original game. Oh, stop right here! Stop right there! Stop right there! You might be wondering why did I also want the multi scrolling to be go down? Well, it doesn't work because if you try to um multi if you try the multi path going down um before screen transitions um technically you are in the correct screen. But you will be walking extra left. That's unfortunate because um, if you end up walking right, um, you get blocked. 
uh, the the you get blocked, so it doesn't work. So let's continue on. Yeah, you go up and you die. That's because um the, the level is incompleted at the moment. So I will continue to use my imagination of what my level is going to be in the radio tower and put more enemies inside a radio tower. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be inside of the radio tower in the Kansai region of Shadow Man stage. Of course, there was uh, the 1964 version of it. Of course, it's not going to be the radio tower because um, in 1964, um, you, you're supposed to experience Japan like, like, uh, um, uh, you're, you're like in the Edo period, such as um, kimonos and yeah, yeah, you know, one of the classic times, you know. Yeah, let me go to face cam. Okay, all right, so this is my current level I'm designing right now in the Kansai region. And I will be going to the Kansai region this summer um, to, to Kobe. Not sure about going to Osaka. So I will continue staying home and design my level as possible. But uh, I started um, doing Mario All-Stars and setting up for the summer. Because once I finish a Mega Man level, I'll do one Mario All-Stars level and upload it on YouTube and schedule it. But I will continue uploading it on Facebook. So that's it. That's the level of um, Mega Man at the Tokyo Olympics and commentating on it. So um, thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you have a good day and take care.